Looking like something you'd expect to find within the realm of a Flash Gordon or a Dan Dare, the monks originated from a research conducted within the British Hanley Page Company into a tailless bomber defender, essentially a long-range escort fighter. In order to prove the British Air Ministry the soundness of the concept, Hanley Page committed to building a subscale development aircraft for testing and demonstration purposes, and this led to the Manx, a name delivered from a type of cat found on the Isle of Man that has little or no tail. Like said feline, the Manx lacked a traditional tail unit save for a centralised small area or vertical tail fin. The wing main planes were constructed of two primary sections, with a thicker inboard section being used to mount two de Havilland Gypsy Major 2 engines, turning two bladed propellers arranged in a pusher configuration. And another unique design choice for the fighters of the day, the inboard section was given straight leading and trailing edge lines, while the outboard section lines were swept back to improve higher speed performance. Each featured a vertical stabiliser and rudder affixed to their tips. The pilot and the observer were seated in a tandem, a teardrop shaped fuselage which were afforded an excellent view thanks to the heavy glazing around them. This allowed them to visually monitor as much of their unique aircraft as possible. However, difficulties in exiting the aircraft in an emergency, the cone shaped rear of the fuselage could be jettisoned allowing for the observer to escape quickly should the need ever arise. Another unusual feature of the Manx was that while the main undercarriage was retracted, the nose wheel remained fixed in place during flight. Constructed mostly out of wood, the one and only prototype was completed in 1940 and began taxi trials, but very quickly it was found that the wings were suffering from deterioration, requiring additional strengthening before a test flight could be conducted. Consequently, with the flight pressures of war on Hanley Page disrupting the program, work would prove slow on the Manx, with further redesign work being necessitated to help alleviate many of the problems that were appearing mostly concerning the weight of of the aircraft. On September the 12th, 1942, the aircraft was conducting another taxi trial when briefly it got airborne, reaching a height of 12 feet before returning to Earth. But even this short flight unofficial first flight resulted in the damage to the nose wheel, and it would not be until June 11th, 1943 that the aircraft would finally take to the skies for the first time with Hanley Page's chief test pilot James Richard Talbot at the controls. Unfortunately, the planned test flight was cut short when the canopy detached forcing Talbots to return to the airfield. And over the coming months, the Manx would conduct 30 relatively short test flights, logging up 17 hours by December 3rd, 1945. When Talbot and another test pilot involved in the program, Edgar Wright, were both killed in a test flying a Handley Page Hermes airliner. The crash resulted in a detrimental effect on the Manx. Well, it only one more flight was undertaken in April of 1946 before it was replaced into storage. Hanley Page continued to try to find some fruit from the project, proposing tailless jet fighters, bombers and transports, but ultimately they came to nothing and sadly the one prototype was scrapped in 1952, leaving this tailless aircraft a bit of a fairy tale. Subscribe for more.